Hey guys, welcome back to Susan Shares. Now, I know it's late Tuesday morning, but we're going to call it a Monday, Susan Shares, on a late Tuesday morning. But I hope you've, you're doing well. But, oh, wow. I was gone all last week in, in snowy Colorado, Lost Valley Ranch, Colorado, at Camp Well. Came right, right back to a workshop at the Joshua Center all day. And then I spoke at a local church for three services Sunday, and uh, Monday just happened, you know, and it just happens to us, doesn't it? So, and I know it's late. I took the kids to preschool this morning, and I'm just being transparent. Life happens. So, I just want to encourage you in that, that sometimes things don't go, and so we have to monitor and adjust. And so, I am, and I hope you're doing well, but I do have a word for you. You know, you've uh, been so kind to ask about how Steve's parents are doing, and and I'd love to give you a great report, but there really is not one. Um, uh, Nana, I call her Nana, but Steve's mom, uh, Doris, has a GI bleed now. She has been in the hospital now for four solid weeks on the rehab floor. Uh, we have been going back and forth. Steve, God loves Steve. Uh, he goes all the time back and forth to, to Pine Bluff, and it's just been unbelievable but and both have dementia and it's getting worse for both of them it's excruciatingly hard for lg granddad to watch her in the hospital because with dementia you know uh we need sameness <laughs> sameness you know we need schedule routine more than we need anything and he is completely out of his and so it's devastating to him for her not to be home and uh, but so she's, she's declining, but, uh, and still at the hospital and we don't know what this GI bleed is from and what it's about. So continue to pray for that. But the word today, as we are still in our series of hard because life, uh, besides that, uh, is still hard in other areas. And I still say Jesus, uh, at the Joshua Center, we were studying and our staff at Mark 4 about Jesus being in the, mo in the boat with the disciples and then still questioning uh, you know, him about calming the water and, and them seeing all the miracles that he was doing and they were still like questioning how he could do that. But here's the deal about Jesus in the boat with the disciples in the storm and calming the water. He is in the boat with them. Um, and uh, that's my word. If you're in a boat and the storm is around you and you're in a boat and it is coming at you, Jesus is in the boat with you. You may be questioning like they were, but look who's in the boat with you. He calms the waters and he may be going through it with you, but he's the one going through it with you. Life with Jesus does not mean all the waters are calm, but he's the one that calms you through the storm, and he's the one that goes through it with you. And then they're in the boat with him again when Jesus is literally walking on the water. But look at what the focus is, that Peter is actually walking on the water. But look what he has to do, focus on Jesus or he sinks. And I'm telling you, that's what happens to us. We sink if the focus is on everything else but Jesus. I tell you that to be true in my own personal life, and I know it's true for you, that if our focus is not him, our eyes are not locked on Jesus, we begin to sink too. But if they're not, if they are locked on Jesus, he is walking literally toward us. Give me your hand. I can do this with you. So that's my word. Hard does not necessarily mean bad. When we get closer, stronger, and more, we're clinging to Jesus, our faith in him grows like no other time. Isn't it something? It's so true when we allow it to be true. So keep your focus on Jesus and you will, can be in your heart even calm in the storm. 
Have a great day. Bye-bye.